Could you believe that I act that the game didn't actually save for me? <clears throat> oh god. That be that's torture. That's pure torture. I had to start chapter nine all over again. Oh boy, it was a mess. I'm gonna try so hard to get get through. So So it was a canyon part. That level will forever haunt me. That's pretty much... I'm actually surprised how I call my last attempt. I actually... Ease these levels, like... Actually ease these levels compared to the desert levels. Maybe it's because I'm taking the upper path instead? I don't know. Seems the off... <coughs> Sorry, my voice is getting <coughs> a little cracky there. I don't know why though. It seems to be going that way. Okay. Okay. <coughs> okay, no. Yeah, this voice seems to be cracking as much, much as this game. Game's cracking with horribleness. Looking around the entire area like a sandstorm. Okay. Yeah, that was cool. Okay, that's weird not to lie. Let's see how it's <coughs> how some of the puzzles pour on the pool water like I like guess it's going the the quarter is going on the entire land. <coughs> on the ground, so <coughs> Oh god, no, no, no Why is it like this? Jeez. Give some respect here. I've I've been tortured through this game. I mean it. This game is giving is putting me into hostage. Yes, I'm actually going to say I actually said that. I actually mean hostage. This this game is pretty much a hostage. This game pretty much. Okay, don't fit. If it for a game you play in a torture room. I play in the bub in the play the bubs and demon demon a torture room and I'll work. I pretty much just annoy him all the time. That would make a lot of sense. Cause you know Bubsy is annoying. That pretty much tells you that this is a torture. So yeah, that pretty much tells you that this game, this game is pure torture. It will, it will possibly could have drive, heck, could have drove, possibly drove, drive people crazy. But not just drive people crazy. Oh no, it will drive people insane. Like, like freaking frustration, at insane. Like. Like, they can't take it anymore, and they're, they're gonna avenge to a... to do something bad to the world. Actually, this game was done to make something bad happen to the world. This game would have most likely caused World War Three or something. Yes, I had to say that. It really, really does work. Bubsy could have started... This game could have started World War Three. But I mean it, I mean it by, by a thousand, thousand miles. This is pretty much the, pretty much, this game is gonna be pretty much the start of World War Three. I mean, just, just, let's just wait till you see. Wait till you try to, I just really, 
I just really... I just really have to know... I just really have to know when... I do know that there's a lot of people saying that Bubsy should die, and I, I agree. And Bubsy should have never been even created in the first place. It was just a bad start. Like, the entire company could have... Like, Michael Barlin himself... Oh, shouldn't have... Okay, I want should have existed as... As I've heard, he did make great tech... Amazing tech... Text adventure and story-based games, but... To be honest, this... This... When he did the platform, he became one of those god-awful, most... This era dare to see, most... Eternally horrible... Horrible video game designers... Of all time. Boy, it, be it became clear that it, and it became clear to people that that Bubsy would pretty much be the end of his life. I'm gonna just die. And I could say the you need a Michael Burrow. See if Michael Burrow would ever come back. Let's go, Michael Burrow gets a story-based game out of the way and not not go into black boring. Cause you know that would be a you know, idea that would, that would be an idea that would work so well. That I mean it. That would that would be amazing. You probably. Heck, he'll maybe. Heck, he'll probably make a good RPG. No, well, seriously, he could have create, could create the next Final Fantasy, a good Final Fantasy game. But no, he goes to platforming. And oh boy, did it go down the hill for real? It just went down the hill like a bomb. Not just any bomb, the most god awful bomb of bombs. And it exploded all over humanity, all over the United States. Dangling all over the world. It's, thank God Japan didn't have to have to suffer through all of this. Hey, I didn't write this stuff. Thank God you never never you probably never played this in your entire life. But you know, this game is pure torture. Like I can see, this could possibly be harder than Toho. I mean it. I mean it. Oh, Japanese viewers, you think Toho is harder than? Well, just play this, and you will see the pure difficulty of a Bubsy. This is the pure difficulty of a, of your lives. You will be tr you will be trying desperately to survive, but have no clue what to do. You'll just be stuck in the endless, pointless things that have dropped the game that that will annoy you and cause you to cause you to almost lose humanity. And yes, I literally mean almost lose humanity. This game will, heck, this game will will drive you to frustrating, rage quit insanity. It really shows. This is like the value of I have value of of what they were like on. This is like this is when you actually when you just went down the barrel and started producing a game so bad and early early almost closed the company. Yes, I know it didn't make a lot of profit, but let me tell you, that profit wasn't worth it. Especially since it started a horrible franchise. That, it never got any better. In fact, it got way worse. So much worse, in fact, I don't... That once I get to the PlayStation game, oh god. It'll be downright a 
don't. No. Okay, that's enough for today, folks. See you next time, where we get into more torture. And start using continues. Because, you know, those are pretty much one of the only usable items in the game. That's visibility on one ups and two ups. Those all those four are pretty much the only useful items in the game. The rest are pretty much cringe. 